a condor last nice. Oh, Hello everybody, and welcome back to another little movie. And we got one run out of it. I said it because the first run when I went out the door doesn't really count. I went out for like 10 minutes maybe. And the other time I went out was when I filmed the outdoors. Beautiful snowy Norway. Yeah, I wasn't really happy. I went out. The servo arm broke. The gears inside just teared up. And the, it's plastic so... I wasn't so mad about that, but wasn't mad, but I wasn't so disappointed about that because it's plastic and plastic break. I changed it to another one and it was like, yeah, let's go out and have some fun with the TRX-4. Went for like five minutes and the servo just died. I got a little video on it. I can show you. Roll the clip! In Ethiopia, he was born oh, shit. There. Nice. Yeah, as you saw, I was just going with my friend a little bit on the night run and the server just completely died. I didn't do like any hard driving or anything, so I don't know. We got this uh, new servo. <laughs> it's a Savox 1210SG. I really hope that this is a really a better servo than the other original servo. So we're gonna open it. I didn't know this really, but when you upgrade your servo to a higher torque servo, this can take 23 kilos and the original can take 9 kilos. That's a huge difference. Uh, this one is waterproof. I also got an BEC because when you get a high torque servo, you need a BEC. Okay, we got some Savox stickers. That's always fun. Yay! Got some plastic arms. I don't want to use those. So I got myself an aluminium arm. This one is going to be so nice. Here is the new servo. Coreless. Waterproof. SW1210SG. Digit 4096 cordless servo. I think this is a good servo. So these ones I haven't really I don't really actually know anything about this. Yeah, we got some more stickers. So this is a BEC and we need to waterproof it. So I think we're just gonna fill it up with some hot glue. I think that will do it. What do you guys think? Here we have some specifications and everything about this BEC. Gonna be taking a look at that later. We also got a Castle Link user programmable kit. Obviously you need that for something, to do something. And this one you just plug in here. This one is going into the computer later. We're gonna have to download the program. This one is a little more tricky. You have to cut some and do some other stuff. I think that we can just put this in here and this in here and that will be good. So I don't think we need to solder anything today. So I'm just gonna push it right in there and then I'm gonna just hot glue it. Good. So I'm just gonna start to do a little thing and we'll see you in a little short while. So we've actually installed the program already. So you can see here the castle link is uh, well, maybe you can't see. 
Here you can see the Castle Link is plugged in and it's uh, glowing red and it says USB is connected. So all we now have to do is to do this device not linked. So we take this uh, BEC and then you come into this uh, program and it says USB connected and device linked. So then you can go up here to basics and then you can change here on how many volt output you want. And I got the Savox 7.4 volts, so we're gonna get 7.4 volts. And that's okay, and just push update, and it's updating, and it's okay. So, now we have updated and controlled the BEC. You found a little place for it right here. You can see that it's green now compared to red in the beginning, so. Now it's all cool, you can just shut down the program. And uh, we will start uh, reassembling everything. So we need like to push the cables inside and everything so it doesn't really push out so much. So we can just check one time before we do this that everything works properly. So we got everything inside there, put the battery in, push on. So the servo works. Front and back works. Perfect. So now we can just uh, shut everything off so we can start to pull in the cables to the right places. So this one is actually going underneath here. So I can show you a little bit of what we have done. So we pulled in, uh, plugged in the BEC directly to the plus and minus on uh, the e ESC. We have taken the ESC cord and pushed out the red wire from there because this one is not going to be connected because if you have two red wires that's going to be interfering with each other and that's not a good thing. So pull out the red wire on the ESC, connect the BEC plus and minus wire directly into the ESC. The BEC goes around and it's going to go inside uh, channel 1 on the receiver and the other channel 1 is for the servo. Uh, one thing that I saw when I came home was that the, the cord on the servo is really short. So it didn't get all the way through so I had to get an extender to get it to be able to fit everything. So some pluses and some minuses and uh, whatnot. So. I really want to be out driving instead, but when you buy Kraxas, you have to screw. Okay, so this one is going to go inside, back, around, in, up, around, in here. Force is strong within this one. So this wasn't so hard, guys, but it's not so much fun to do when you bought a car for like a couple of hundred bucks. And the thing was I actually asked about the servo in the shop when I bought it. So they say that I'm just like maybe unlucky or I don't know. Anywho, the servo cord is so 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 short. We need even... So I now put the um, uh, BEC on uh, the BEC on channel 1. I got the um, servo on channel 1. Got the ESC with the out, took out the red wire. There, channel 2, and channel 3, two, four. so I got one more. So I'm just gonna close this one up and uh, yeah, I hope that this is gonna work. And I'm taking some grease just to be extra sure. Just pushing it around a little bit around the edges. Not too much, just a little bit. Just to keep out the water and everything, so. An extra insurance for to say that, and it keeps the um, seal here nice and moist, so it doesn't dry out. Like that. Now we just have to push all the little wires down in their little slots. And if you don't do this, and be if you're not careful when you do this. 
you can actually puncture a hole or something like on the one of the cords. And you don't want to do that. Like Bill Sif say, why the hell would ya? Decent boys. That, now I got everything good. Checks that no cable is uh, stuck between anything. Got my Bosch. This is such a wrist saver. I've been having problems with my wrists. So when I start to screw like this, after like 10-15 minutes I can't do it anymore because my hand is totally fucked up. So not sponsored, but thank you Bosch. So I thought it was gonna be like a quick little movie where I just push everything in and we could go out and crawl some. But it seems that we have a little slight problem. So I don't really know what to do. If we are lucky, and I don't say that we are not, but we are not. Okay, maybe we are lucky. First of all, I would like to say that the TRX4 is a great car, but I've heard uh, about a couple other guys on some forums and stuff, and they say that their servo is really good. I think it's like 50-50 if you get a good one or a bad one. Just have to be like lucky. This server I got here can take 23 kilos. The old one can take 9 kilos. 9 kilos is about what do you say, 18, 20 pounds. So about 20 pounds. Uh, and this one is like 48. So this is from 20 on the stock one to like 48 on this one in pounds. That's so huge difference. So this one doesn't, I don't think this one is going to cut off anytime soon. I got a BEC that uh, gives it the right amount of power in it's 7.4 volts. So the BEC will always give it 7.4 volts, even though everything else might need something. I've sort of waterproofed it because it's not waterproofed. So I just put a bunch of glue there. <laughs> That took about three hours or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you so much guys for all your likes and comments and everything. So it's all of you who makes me want to do more. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's take this bad boy out for round number two. Or it's really round number four, but it broke down two times. So I only bit out one time, so let's do this. Look, this is so much torque, so the whole body is twitching. That's cool. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're wondering about something, comment down below. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Goodbye.